Welcome back, it's your boy, Gat Cognac, back with another video. So I'm just over here browsing through YouTube and I finally see a trailer. And it's a trailer for River City Girls 2, which is based off of, um, like, you know, a spin off of the River City Ransom game for OG and Nintendo. And, you know, Nintendo during that time, they came out with a lot of side scroller beat em up games. I would say they were the masters of the side scroller beat em ups. And basically, for me, the first side scroller beat em up game I ever played was probably Double Dragon 2 for the OG NES. I was like, man, the one, you know, everyone had that game. Except it wasn't co op like most of the Sky side scroller games are now. But. Me and brother, my brother and I would just play the hell out of that game and, you know, play the versus mode all the time and just had hella fun. So anyways, uh, after so many of them that came out, you know, we played Brawl Brothers, Fighting Force or PS1, that kind of revolutionized a lot of um, beat em up games. And then, you know, you just always see, that's always been a staple, like those games are just timeless. Later on in the years, the Switch had came out with uh, River City Girls. So, you know, I downloaded that game, I played it, and I was like, what the hell is this, you know? And I see it's like a more modern version of, you know, um, like Double Dragon and River City Ransom and stuff like that. Except this time around, it's like, you play as these girls, right? And, you know, you already know how the whole woke scene is and stuff like that. And the whole story of the games is their boyfriends get kidnapped, so they gotta come save them. So it kind of switches the role. I don't know, I wasn't too bothered by the whole thing, but um, I just kind of found it funny. I was like, really? Like, so they switched the roles, you know, now the guys need saving, whatever, right? Whether you thought of it was comedy or whatnot, you know, I just thought of it like that, as that, you know? I really couldn't get into the game too much though. I thought I was just, it just wasn't as fun as the older games, you know? Uh, I played so, so far, and then I was just like, ah, I gave up on it. I actually ended up playing Streets of Rage 4 instead, so. I have no problem playing as a girl character. I always play as girl characters, usually in video games anyways, but. For that, for that game, I just couldn't get into, man. Um, like I said, I played Streets of Rage 4 after that. And that ended up being pretty cool. So anyways, I watched the trailer for River City Ransom, or River City Girls 2. And now they're showing like one of the characters from Double Dragon, right? And she's like one of the main chicks, uh, Billy's girlfriend from Double Dragon, you know, the one that always gets kidnapped. And her name was what, Marion or Marion? Um, Marion? I don't know. I think a lot of them, a lot of people call her Marion or something like that. Anyways, she's the one that always, like in the beginning of the intro, she gets punched in the stomach and gets carried away. And I always thought that was like the best scene ever, you know? As a kid, I was like, dude, look, this dude just punched her ass in the stomach and just kidnapped her ass, like some Genghis Khan shit, you know? And I was like, that was hardcore, man. I always thought like, man, if there was a rated R in, in gaming, man, you know, that was the scene. Because nowadays, man, you can't even do that no more. Like now in the games, you can't even like beat up women or nothing like that. So like, I would like to say like Double Dragon was like one of the first wife beater games ever to come out, man. And it was tight. <laughs> I'm not saying what beating wives are tight, but it was just, it was a cool concept, man. You know? So, anyways. Oh, yeah. And also one of the funniest things about Marion is that she was like a big asshole in that game. She acted like what you would see some women would actually be like in real life. And it was funny. Because I remember after you, like, go all, do all that work to go save her ass, right? At the end. And you find out it was like she was banging your brother the whole time. Your own twin brother was getting that ass, right? And you come and save her. And not only does she just go like, nah, man, I'm with fucking Jimmy instead. She pits y'all two together and be like, nah, y'all need to fight for me like that. But like, nah, man, it was like she had to pit y'all together and fight each other, man. Like siblings should never be fighting over no bitch like that. They just got together, threw her off the fucking uh, a cliff or whatever, and called it a day. End of fucking story. But nope, they was already teaching folks to be simps even back in those days. So that game, man, was ahead of its time, man. That's why I believe this should have been a mature title. But 
if you made it that far because that game was so damn hard most people didn't even make it that far to the end anyways um later on the lines they made like double dragon neo they kept that in the scene you know she gets punched in the stomach gets carried away like that right uh i guess it was more in a comedic fashion but like when you played that first scene in double dragon that was a serious ass scene i remember recalling later on in the days like avgn would always play with like his uh homie mike Matei or something like that and they did a little feature on that and even like avgn was like that was the greatest scene ever one of the greatest openings in game history i mean that says all you need to know i mean they just they just took your girlfriend i mean they they punched her and i was like finally somebody agrees with what i thought you know i always like ask people the question like what game is the game where the dude gets punched in the stomach or the chick gets punched in the stomach and gets carried away and most people don't remember that but for me that was the most rememberable scene in double dragon or just gaming history in nes so anyways i'm watching it and so river city ransom 2 comes out like i said uh, or River City Girls 2 comes out with the trailer and it features, you know, the main chick and she's like all buffed out and got nice ass six pack abs and shit and her hair is like all like Android 21 and shit looking like so I'm like what the fuck that's her so like uh, she even narrates this shit like I'm tired of Billy and Jimmy like going off and beating up other things and fighting ninjas and shit and leaving my ass to get kidnapped and you know, I'm waiting on their ass and not getting saved, you know? And then there's this one part, she goes like, and I'm tired of getting punched in the gut, you know? Got sick of getting punched in the gut. I decided to rescue myself. So like, now, fuck this, you know? I'm gonna work out, I'm gonna bust my own shit out. I'm gonna start whooping ass instead. I'm tired of relying on them. So I was like, man, that is just the wokest shit I've seen ever. But at the same time, it's actually kind of funny, you know? It's just funny that they actually like said, like, I'm tired of getting punched in the gut. That actually like is a very valid thing. Like I gotta give it to them. So I'm not even gonna ride on them that hard about like, you know, making this shit all like different. But it's just, it's hilarious to me. But that's how it is nowadays, man. I talked about it before, but this is as blatant as it gets. So, I don't know, man. I just wanted to put it out there. That was just, that's just funny, man. You know, such my big childhood, like, <laughs> it's coming to a screeching halt, but at the same time, like, they poke fun at it. So, I'm neither like angry nor I'm am I pleased with the fucking game. It's just, it's just funny to me. Just wanted to make a video on it, and just to make a video for you guys, because you guys are always, you know, looking for new content. So let me know what you think about that new uh river city girls game if you enjoyed the first one and the second one let me know anyways this is your boy gat cognac signing out i'll see you on the next one later